Okay everybody, this is just a little bonus footage here that I'm going to post as a separate video. I'm going to make it short and sweet. Some of you asked when I mentioned about hooking up the tape head, the playback head, to the 3580A spectrum analyzer to see what it looks like. Um, I decided I would do that and just kind of put this in a simple little video. Over here are where the two playback heads connect, right here and right here. And you can see we're connected to one already. And I have the GL341 tape, and it is set to the 10 kilohertz right now. And I have the spectrum analyzer right here. And I will zoom in for you so you can see it. And it is set very sensitive. I'm at the negative, negative minus 50 dB uh, input sensitivity. So it is looking at some, I mean, <laughs> there's quite a noise floor. And you can see how quiet this analyzer is. That's what makes it special when you compare it to some of the software-based ones. But it's very slow and sweeping. You can see this. And we're going to see a result of that slow sweep, what it does. It's a little side effect. So let me start the tape at 10 kilohertz on the first channel. And we're at 1 kilohertz, or 2 kilohertz per division. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 kilohertz. So you can see there's your peak right at 10 kilohertz. Now watch every other sweep. See how when it sweeps through, the first sweep is a little higher and the second sweep's a little lower. Staying pretty close, but it just depends. There's a little bit of wow and flutter, and that's what you're picking up. This is so sensitive right now, it's seeing. <laughs> but you can see that there is a good, strong 10 kilohertz uh, signal off the tape. This is coming directly from the tape off of the tape head. There's nothing, no circuitry. This is before the first FET or anything. And we are generating a little bit of noise up here, but not much that amounts to anything. Okay, let me stop the tape. I'm going to re rewind it back to that position again. And let's move the spectrum analyzer to the other head. So you have right channel and left channel. So now we were looking at the left channel. We are now looking at the right channel. Let me start the tape. And you can see same exact output. So both both the right and left channel heads are matched. They're equal, provided that the tape is equal, which I believe it is. Okay, we're now set up for the 333 hertz track. Now they're both running at the same amplitude. So in other words, they're both supposed to be minus 20 dB at least after it goes through the equalization and everything. So let's hit this. What we should see is the 333 hertz should be a little higher amplitude, or should be a little lower amplitude, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> I get confused. But, and there's your 333, and it's very, very close in amplitude. If you remember, the other one was just below that center line, the 10 kilohertz. So they're a little bit different but not much. And we're just talking tiny differences. And again, I'm not sure how these tapes are recorded. If they're linearly recorded uh, as far as energy is concerned, I'm not sure. This is all stuff that's over my head. But you can see that that tape head can produce a frequency of a similar amplitude at 10 kilohertz as it does at 333 hertz. Let's move the tape back a little bit. Let's move our probe over to the other channel. And let's just make sure that it's tracking at 333 hertz as well. Okay. Here we go. And there you go. Again, very, very similar amplitude.
and the equalization circuit is in there to flatten those two differences out as long as they're within close enough range to one another and again I'm not sure how the, how physically the how they're recorded on the tape um, that's something that's kinda like I said a little beyond my understanding because I, I do know that they they record these tapes in a very specific manner but there it is that's what it looks like and now the guy's talking <laughs> Because the tone is over. So there you go. We saw 10 kilohertz and we saw 333 hertz. We looked at both channels. We can see that both channels are outputting the same amount of energy. The tape head is good. And just so you know, I did this, this, this shot that I did here, this little video, was after uh, I completed the, cal the alignment of the playback. So you'll be seeing that video coming out very soon. Uh, I have it all edited and everything. I just need to put the finishing touches to it and we'll get it posted up there. But at this point in time, this tape deck has had the playback alignment completely done. And I think I got it pretty close. Anyway, <laughs> there it is. Quick video. Wish you all peace, joy, happiness, and good health. And we'll be back again. Uh, like I said, I'll get the other video of the playback alignment up uh, within the next couple days of this one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.